Whether you're into tall girls with a big ass or not, if you're into Jujutsu Kaisen, this is an awesome vinyl box set. This box set was published by Anime Limited, and there are a few variants. There's the Black Flash variant. That one was available on the all the anime websites for those in the UK and Light in the Attic for those in the US. That's the Black Flash variant. The other one is the Zavi exclusive variant, and this is inspired by Gojo's eyes. Again, I'm showing the stock image there. I'll show you what the actual records look like in a second. But the third variant, is one that at the time that I'm recording this isn't out yet and that's exclusively through right stuff and that's just the standard black variant. Regardless of their availability, I'm going to put links in the description to the distributors that are carrying these. One thing that immediately stood out to me was the way the box feels. It's got a canvas texture to it which is very nice. On the front of the cover here we have Itadori and Sukuna. The back has this image of a shrine and it's got this fatal frame feel to it. If you know the game fatal frame you know exactly what I mean. It has this ominous feel to it, which is very appropriate for Jujutsu Kaisen. And you can see all the tracks that are pressed across the five discs in this box set, because yeah. Across the spine and the top of the jacket, you can see the title and it's music by Hiroaki Susumi, Yoshimasa Terui, and Alyssa Okehazama. Taking a look at the jackets, they all have scenery from different settings in the anime. That's vinyl one. For vinyl two, this looks like it's the school, but that's vinyl two. On vinyl three, I don't recall where this was exactly. Maybe it's like the sewer and stuff or like underground going on to vinyl four it's the forest setting that the tournament arc takes place in and then vinyl five yeah you guys are gonna have to remind me on that one because i'm drawing a blank on that but one thing i forgot to mention is that it does come with a lyric booklet because there are quite a bit of songs in here it has the same art that's on the front cover and also the back as well now what's nice about this you get the art without all the text on it which is super nice one thing that's really good about having the lyrics in front of me for me personally, is just the way I listen to music. I'm always listening to the instrumentation more so than anything else. So the lyrics really take a backseat for me. Being able to read the lyrics as I'm listening helps me get, you know, a better sense of what the song's even about and stuff like that. A really cool add-on here. But let's take a look at the vinyl, the Black Flash variant. This is one that really caught me by surprise because I didn't know any change in it or whatever. Again, this image that you're seeing, that was the image that I first saw when it got announced and everything. So when I I got it in the mail and when I pulled the record out I was so confused because it came out looking way different not like yeah, it came out looking way different. It's like a blue green color, like the record itself. And then it has a black splatter on it. At first, it was a little upsetting because you wait so long for this, you know, after, you know, delay after delay. And, you know, you get something that you just weren't expecting. So it took a little time for me. Really sat back and think. And one thing I can definitely say about it is that it is a very Jujutsu Kaisen color scheme, especially when you look at the cursed energy manipulation. It definitely feels Jujutsu Kaisen. And over time, it's definitely grown on me. The more I looked at it the more I liked it and yeah I reach out to all the anime's customer service just asking like what happened is this like an actual thing is there any possibility of getting the one that's on the original image because they've since updated the image to the way the record looks now too and yeah they confirmed that yep from the plant that's what the actual variant is so regardless of where you got the black flash variant this is the way that it came out now let's take a look at the gojo variant which is inspired by gojo's eyes white with a almost like a sky blue splatter I really like the way these ones came out and just to have a little bit of fun what I'm gonna do is take that picture of Gojo showing his eyes replace his actual iris with the vinyl record now again this is inspired by and of course it's not gonna come out looking exactly like his eyes and everything but again just having some fun here let's take a look at how close you know it looks like Gojo's eyes this is the Zavi exclusive one and the only other record I've ordered from Zavi was the Beastars one now if you saw my Beastars video you'd know that the packaging was hardly any packaging at all very concerning and I'm surprised my Beastars came in in the condition that it came in which was very good but the packaging for this one there was actually some void fill in there and it was less concerning but still could still be better so those are the colored variants what's really cool about the right stuff the standard black variant is that it draws you into the label which is the four kanji that make up Jujutsu Kaisen and they're all slightly different colors too so it's a really cool way to have the name of the anime on the label it just looks dope but going on to the music that's pressed on these records and I kind of want to touch on a few tracks from each 
disc. So rather than going through every single track, because there's quite a bit, I'm just going to talk about a few that really stuck out to me. On disc one, there's obviously Ryo Mansukuna's theme, which you can really feel all the years he's been a curse. You know what I mean? As much as he is a powerful curse, he's also very intellectual. He is this king of curses, and you really feel that with this music. But that Sukuna's theme, Your Battle is My Battle, featuring Chika, there's a wonkiness to the piano, and it just gives this feeling that something is looming in the way that kind of a demon or curse looms over someone. So very good kind of uh, textural things going on here. Attack of the Curse, a really fun track for me. I love progressive rock and stuff like that. And this has a lot of elements that are in that kind of style of music. It has kind of an odd time signature thing going on. I love that stuff. So that's Attack of the Curse. On disc two, Feelings of Regret gives me like Lord of the Rings Shire vibes or something like the kind of music you'd hear in the Shire of Lord of the Rings or Titanic even. I don't recall hearing this kind of music in the series. So I'm interested to know when this kind of music was playing. The Beginning. This is a very short and sweet track. It's very beautiful. And there's a lot of tracks in here by o Okehazama. I believe that's her name. Yeah, Okehazama. This is a composer. I'm definitely paying attention to whenever I see their name. Because a lot of the tracks in this soundtrack that I absolutely love are by Okehazama. They're just the kind of music I love to listen to over and over again. They're very very nice. Learn the Lesson for me was kind of a fun one because it just reminded me of, uh, if you ever seen Good Burger, I'm a dude, he's a dude, the song that Ed sings in, in the movie. Yeah, it just reminded me of that. And yeah, I was just having a blast listening to it because yeah, it was just nostalgic in a very good way. So yeah, there's that one. Curse Wound Must Die. You hear the title of that track and listening to it, it was a very weird experience because there's this textural noise that almost sounds like you're hearing blood move through the vessels. Felt like you were in something. The bass drum also sounds like kind of a heartbeat and not like your heartbeat, but like the heartbeat of the body you're in. So between the heartbeat and like the blood vessels, it's a, I don't know, it's strange. You know, when you think of curses and demons and stuff, it's like, it's yeah, it, it was strange. Definitely one I'd say listen to with a pair of headphones or something. It's streaming on other platforms and stuff. So I'll, I'll put in the description where you can listen to the soundtrack online as well. Take a listen to that one and let me know. Going on to disc three, Strong and Intelligent Allies. This is the kind of wholesome track, not just the feels, but you're very inspired and everything as well. Just the kind of friendship that you feel in a shonen series. You know, strong connections that these characters make and everything. It's it's that track. And yeah, I really like it. Going on to disc four, there's Beyond Sacrifice. This is another Okehazama track. And this one just puts you in a whirlwind of emotions. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, they've got some really, really good stuff in here. The words that came from deep inside my gut. It's pretty deep. A curse born from mankind. This is one of those odd time things, which I'm just like, but yeah, it, it's in seven, eight. So as you're listening to it, uh, you know, count, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. And I, I love that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Going on to disc five, One Day Together With Everyone. This is a solo piano piece that I absolutely need to play one day. Yeah, I just want to sit down, transcribe it and play it. It's just one of those pieces for me. It's a very nice piece. Fight Again featuring Chica. This is one of those that, you know, throughout listening to the album, there's like a roller coaster of energy. And this is one that just brings that energy back up. But the last track on this album is called Hurt. It's got this feeling that sort of makes you either want to go back to the beginning and listen to again or move on to the next soundtrack whenever that is. Speaking about the next soundtrack, all the animes blog on their website, they actually said on there that they're going to be pressing Jujutsu Kaisen Zero on vinyl. So that's definitely something to look forward to. I haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen Zero yet, but I'll watch it at some point. Let me know if you have this album in your collection already, or if it's something you're looking forward to picking up. I'll put links in the description where you can listen to the soundtrack as well. So let me know what are some of your favorite tracks. Are you looking forward to Jujutsu Kaisen Zero getting pressed on vinyl as well? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and keep on listening to the music that make these anime so great. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.